Aha! It did work. Haha! <laughs> Remember back in the day when we did some liquid transmutation? Well, ta-da! Oh. What happens if I silk touch this? Huh? That's right, guys. This is weird logs, guys. What? I think this is actually really cool. So, yeah, th this is when or uh, newly oriented logs was introduced, and I guess when you mine it, you get a different data value. <laughs> uh, it, now, obviously, without Silk Touch, it's not going to drop it, but with Silk Touch, it is. Pretty cool, right? Uh huh. So I was wondering if we. I mean, I know this doesn't show up, unfortunately, but if we silk touch it, this silk touch, right? Yeah. We do not get, we only get the sideways facing log. This just looks so cursed. Like, look at that. So check that out, guys. That's so crazy looking. Um, <laughs> wow. So welcome back to another episode here on the Unobtained World. It's me, Puff. And last episode was a very different one. We focused on decorations and all that stuff. I'm still somewhat waiting for some feedback on that um, as of now, as I'm just starting to record this episode pretty much the day that I released that one. But, you know, got to stay on top of things. So if we go over here, I have a project to reveal to you guys, a really fun project. In fact, a project that I have wanted to do for a while. Oh, yeah, that, this reminds me, uh, this might not be the greatest time, but I started to work on a little subway system down here to get to and from this said new project area. It's gonna be problematic to dig out because of the water, but basically this is a tunnel that goes from my base, where you saw it, all the way to the desert. That's right, guys, so I don't know if it's actually going to be useful to use this or not but it pops us right out at area 51 and you can already see the project that i have been working on so what does this thing do well let me show you let's uh a few more blocks of sand here place them down real fast and let me show you something real cool wait We're making a wall. We're building sand. We're duplicating sand, everybody. This is all legit. Look at it. Look at it. It's dropping. Oh, I just destroyed the pistons, but that's okay. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> I wonder what could all this sand be used for? <laughs> that's right. Sandstone. Um, we need some building blocks and that's that's a fact. And so free blocks, I'm not one to turn those down. And luckily for us, a good old guy who has really helped this area exist, JL, has a design for us. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up and bring you guys back when I have it fully built. And I'll try my best to explain it all. Here it is, the sand machine. Uh, yeah, this actually wasn't too bad to build up. And I started decorating it. I set up a rail from our base right to the front door of the sand machine. I set up a nice interface here, so all we gotta do is press this button, and kaboom, we get sand duplicating. Amazing, amazing, so let's check it out all the way around here, so you can see where the sand gets duplicated from these pistons here getting zero ticked. Then over here we have the clock that was designed by JL. Technically, JL based his design off of Test 137E29's sand duplicator at the time, so just wanted to make sure that's there. Which is awesome looking, and of course, then we have the item collection system with a bunch of chests and the little structure around it. And oh my goodness, you can already see. So I, I'm actually going to put all my stuff in this chest here, even the steak. We're gonna see how much we get. So we are at empty inventory right now. Oh my goodness, look how fast it is. <laughs> this is so good. 
So uh, one thing I did is the ice streams, they go right to the bottom of these stairs here and we pick them up right now. And so basically all I gotta do is stand like right here and craft up sandstone blocks. And this is how I'm gonna get all the blocks I need to build my mob farm. <laughs> Which by the way is coming along really well. Oh yeah, look how high up we are. We're almost at the top of the hill. <laughs> Which is awesome. But yeah, it's a long fall down. And yeah, I've, I've done it quite a bit. I've been building each layer properly as I go up so we don't have to go in and finish anything. This is the last time I'll see the insides of these things. I just wanted to run you guys through kind of how these things are built. So essentially, there's some pads here. So this is essentially the ceiling of one. So now all I do is I start filling this stuff in over here to create a three by three pad. And then in the center here, what we do is we just do three by three pads like this with two blocks up. And then in the center of every pad, we have a slab. And here you can see uh, kind of what a finished platform would look like. And then what happens is water gets put in pretty much right here on every layer. And as you can see, this will actually flow right to the edge here, which is perfect. And then we also have a water source that goes right here, which really nicely covers everything. So the mobs get flushed to the center of the uh, mob system here or the mob farm. Anyways, guys, I have one thing that we do have to do right down there with a special guest. I'm Seppi Tweed. I've been a mod for Puff since 2018. How long has it been? It's been a while. A long time. Um, and a while back, I did a thing on one of his streams where we were, I think he was building obsidian pillars and then I gave him some subs and then he was like, all right, I can put your player head on top. And then we never actually did any of that stuff. So this is the payback for it. Yes, it is. So uh, would you like to follow me to spawn? Sure. Yeah. All right. So I, think I also need some food eventually. Oh, yes, here you go. I have Thank uh you. I have a lot of food, it's just I only had nine on me, so it's alright. Five should be enough. So I have a couple locations. I'm gonna let you ultimately decide where it goes, but I have a couple like suggestions <laughs> because I don't know if mm -hmm. you have any ideas beforehand. So one suggestion is in the center of this crop field and in, in that little circle over there. Mm-hmm. Uh the other suggestion oh, okay is at zero zero <laughs> which is just nope. over here oh right here i already marked it out with some obsidian just in case wow yeah and then have to, like move the path a little bit but sure the other location is pretty much anywhere that you decide i i honestly uh it's anywhere and it will stay there forever i think the in the middle of the like the wheat field would be cool Alrighty, sweet. I have the obsidian here. Now I will say I did not gather all this obsidian legitimately because um, okay. I don't have efficiency currently. So. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. All right. So here is some obsidian. Right. And do you want to do a three by three or a, what do you want to do? Uh, Since this is like an odd number circle, probably three by three would work best. Okay. And then centering it be about here? Yeah. All oh. right. Are you ready? I, oh, we we can leave the begun. center hollowed. And that's up to you though. Do you want do you want it hollow? Sure. Make it a little easier. <laughs> okay. like I have five so if I do okay I only have one oh, okay. that's okay we, we can uh... yeah it could be like and then one right there that would work and then player head at the top look at that totally okay. planned player head I'm gonna have to see how to add these in commands here long story short 
Player heads cannot be added until 1.7, so Seb will be back in 1.7. Ready, ready. Can you make the MLG jump? Go. Probably. Very likely. Let's, Let's see. see. Look, here, here it is. Nope. <laughs> I went too far. Oh, Let's no. go. It's fine. I know my way back. I survived because I probably had better armor. <laughs> uh. Okay, I shall uh, bring you your stuff if I can find it all. Yeah, we're good. All right, uh, so everything should be somewhat labeled except for this section because the creeper uh, might, may or may not have happened over here. That's all right. Let's see, there's the woods, valuables, mobs. Uh, this is like anything... stone and stuff over here. Yeah. And this is, yeah. Uh, and then, do you have any coal ore? Coal ore. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> it's either here, here. Do, do, do you want to like... go find some? I have, I have a sure. touch pick. Mm hmm. There's some over here. Is this soap touch? Yes. Any other specific requests? We we can go all day here. I don't know. We can we can really make this place look epic. I'll look at the stuff you have, so we don't have to do a whole bunch of resource gathering. Let's see what's in there. So we discussed a design for a bit, and then we came up with the idea to make it look like the end kind of teleported this pillar into the overworld, with some magical vibes about it. So uh, we got to work with all sorts of fun blocks. I can start putting in the, yeah, portal portals up at the top and then just... Yeah, I'll uh, mine out the dirt here so we have a nice area to work. Anything else? Oh, I, I grabbed something special that you, you may or may not want to add, but I think it's pretty cool. Okay, are you ready? Here, I'm going to turn down the... Ooh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you, you can place them. I, I don't really mind. Yeah. Here. Uh, I wonder. Oh. It has to be one block. Otherwise, they just an update. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. That's I'm okay. I mean, we can. Yeah. Yeah. I'll find little cheeky places for them. And then we can put one right here. Bam. This is adding some nice real nice texture and i can put one in this corner we, we and this put corner one and they don't right update here that's cool like right in there uh it's it does it's not directional it only does like the sides yeah that looks weird <laughs> it looks weird but like still kind of cool we'll leave it see what happens yeah um hmm. yeah i really like this although seb will be back to add his head on the top and maybe make a few minor adjustments this is the final product and I think it looks absolutely amazing. Seb did a really good job uh, with detailing and coming up with some cool ideas for it. It's a really nice addition to the world. We got some unobtainable blocks in there as well as up at the very top there. I think it just looks awesome. It's a great addition to the base. So uh, yeah, but we can, we can add more for sure. So maybe next time when you come back, we'll have more resources mm -hmm. and we can do a whole upgrade to it and then add your face at the very top yeah that'd be really cool yeah 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 so uh, i would like to thank you for coming on my world and oh yeah uh, for sure building this amazing new build for my world i think it really helps and is cool yeah you could do some extra world building with it oh yeah that would be cool maybe add some lore yeah 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 um and yeah for any of my uh youtube people watching do you want to send them anywhere? Uh, I'm doing a thing with Joey. It's called the Magical Blueberries. Uh, we can put a link down below for it. It's All just right. some like, it's just us messing around with board games. It's pretty fun. The link to the Magical Blueberries channel will be in the description. But just a quick little disclaimer, it isn't exactly family friendly. But yeah, let's move on. What an awesome build. It's so cool. Oh man, I love it. Anyways. This is now our next task. So <laughs> the mob farm I have been working on, as you can see, and it is going to be really helpful for us. So currently I have a little entrance to the 
the drop chute section which is going to be hollowed out more and we're going to have an entrance from our actual base under here so basically the way we'll get to it is we'll go down here down here then this way and that way um but yeah if we go let me just show it off right now there is an entrance right here and you can see if you look right up you can see right down the center of the farm anyways i do have a few more layers i'd like to add to that all right so i've set up the bottom here oh darn it you messed up my recording <laughs> okay back to it so i set up the bottom here so i can flick that lever and all the lights turn off inside the farm uh, i don't really want to show you guys that but trust me they do and then we can flick all the lights back on via that okay uh, there's lots of mobs around here oh maybe they're spawning down here too i don't know anyways this is going to be an awesome project so there's also a lot of decorating we can do with this tower because obviously we can't just have this thing hanging around uh, our base because it looks pretty bad just <laughs> sitting there like that um yeah so i do have plans for the decoration of this i'm just not going to reveal it yet because i want you guys to be surprised and see something epic when i build it the mob farm also needs an underneath room where all the mobs are going to die and all the drops are going to be sorted and all that fun stuff is going to happen however i felt like that might be a fun project to do on stream so i'm going to start streaming on twitch uh, here and there so keep your eye out if you want to get notifications, join my Discord. And my Twitch account is twitch.tv forward slash puffingfishhq. So yeah. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And oh, wait, 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 wait. I would recommend joining my Discord. It is pretty inactive. It's like, like, like deathly inactive. It's horribly inactive. However, I am slowly but surely rebuilding it. So you guys might want to be there to, you know, see some epic things happen. Anyways, I'm going to go see if I can catch some charge creepers. Bye-bye.